Hello, welcome to this lesson. Before we start the lesson, can you please get your equipment ready while I wait? Get your pen, get your book. Okay, so what are we learning about today? Look at the picture. What do you think today's learning is all about? Or today's lesson? Yeah, you are right. Today's learning objective is to understand what a habitat is. So before we start the lesson properly, please answer the five retrieval task questions. You have five minutes to complete the questions. You will need to pause the video to answer the questions. So you can pause the video now. Thank you. Okay, get your green pen ready so that we can go through the answers. The first question, by which process do plants make their own food? So plants make their own food by photosynthesis. Second question, name one reactant of photosynthesis. So the reactants of photosynthesis are water and carbon dioxide so mark if you wrote water or carbon dioxide third question name one product of photosynthesis so the products of photosynthesis are glucose and oxygen where in the plant cell does photosynthesis happen that's the fourth question so photosynthesis happen in the chloroplast of a plant cell. The last question, through which structure on a leaf does carbon dioxide get into the leaf? So carbon dioxide gets into the leaf through the stomata. Okay, assess yourself. What did you score out of five? Well done, amazing. Okay. So today's learning objective is to what understand what a habitat is. So at the end of this lesson, we should be able to define a habitat and an environment, and also to know that different habitats have different features. Today's keywords are habitat, environment, ecosystem, population, and community. What do you understand by these terms, habitats and environment? Please pause the video now to watch the video clip so that you can understand what habitat and environment means. Thank you.
Okay. So from the video you just watched, what do you think a habitat is? So a habitat is a place where living things live, breed, and feed. So most habitats support a range of living things. Example, we have the oak tree. So the oak tree is an example of an ecosystem. What do you mean by an ecosystem? An ecosystem is a community and the habitat in which it lives. What do we mean by a community? A community is all the populations of different organisms that live together in a habitat. Then what do we mean by a population? Population. So population means the members of a single species that live in a habitat. So members of what a single species that live in a habitat make up a population. So what do we mean by the term environment? Environment and comprise all the conditions that surround an organism. So all the conditions that surround an organism is termed environment. What are these? Uh, we have the light intensity, that's the amount of light, the temperature, which we use the thermometer to measure. We have humidity. We also have uh, the wind speed and some other living um, things that may be in this um, environment as well. So normally we say we have some factors or some environmental factors in a habitat. And these environmental factors, we say that some are biotic factors, which are the living things in a habitat. And then we have some factors that we say they are what well, the abiotic factors. So the abiotic factors, for example, the light, temperature, soil, uh, pH, uh, water pH, wind, humidity, and then the water. All these factors can actually affect the biotic factors in the ecosystem. So at this point, we need to check our understanding. So you should put your finger, if the statement is true, then put your finger on the true arrow. If the statement is false, put your finger on the false arrow. Okay, question one. Environment is the word that describes where an organism lives. True or false? Where is your finger? Okay, that's false. Environment is the condition that surrounds a living organism. It's not where an organism lives. When an organism lives is the habitat. Question two. Habitat can only support one organism. It's false. Habitat can support so many different organisms. Question three. A habitat is where an organism lives and the environment is described as the conditions found there. That's true. Question four. The environmental conditions in the Arctic are cold and at certain times of the year will get no sunlight. True or false? That's true. Well done. Okay, so how did you do? Well, then you. So at this point, I'm sure you'll be able to describe what habitats are and what an environment is also. So the next stage, we're going to learn the different 
habitats or the or how different habitats have different features that's the next uh stage of the lesson thank you so big question how are these habitats similar and how are they different think pair and share so you have one minute to think about how these habitats are similar and how they are different Okay, now, pair up with this person sitting close to you and discuss your answers. Okay. Share with the class who will tell us how are these habitats similar and how are they different? Thank you. Okay, now. You will now be looking at images on the screen of different habitats. In press, you must discuss the images and then individually fill the worksheet in with information about the environmental conditions in the different habitats. So you will look at each habitat and then you fill this sheet. So please pause the video now to draw this table in your book so that you can fill it in. Thank you. Okay, the habitats you'll be looking at are Arctic, rainforest, desert, marine stroke ocean habitat then the woodland habitat for each habitat you should pause the video for about two minutes to complete the table then on pause to complete the next one at least two minutes for each habitat thank you so you can pause the video now Okay, thank you. Let's assess what you've learned so far. So you can pause the video now to answer the exit question, to check your knowledge. <laughs> 